attacked the vehicle. <laughs> We're camping. We're staying in tents. There's no in the middle of the fence tent. around this place. I love you. Yesterday was amazing. We're now starting day two of our safari. Do you see what he did to the top today? It opens up. We walk out of there. There's just village beavers right here. Yep, these are the birds that I loved the most yesterday. Look at all the nests. Said they knocked down the ones that like aren't well made. Yep. So this must be one of them. And look, you can like see how it's like woven up and down. Look, Isaac. And so, so the male makes it, and if the female doesn't like it, they chop it down. off. It has to be good enough to keep the eggs safe from snakes. Which kind of antelope are these? Impalas. Oh, impalas. Today it's two mommy impalas and two babies. Oh dear! The they look like deer, but they're called impalas. Oh dear. <laughs> Where's the dad? He's watching TV. Off hunting or in the bathroom. If we stay here long enough, we might be able to see a lion attack them. And that's oh. good, because then I finally get to see a lion. The same family with Zazu from the Lion King. Kings don't need advice from little hornbills for a star. So the creature that we're seeing the most that we didn't expect to see are termites. They make these little dirt mounds and they're all throughout this forest. And I keep thinking that they're an animal, but it's just a big mound of dirt. There's something for their bamboos. Back there are the bamboos. Life is so much fun because you don't know what to expect. Eating the baby impalas. Is he? <laughs> There's the little baby. Um, so these little babies happen to be when they put their ears in. <laughs> the baby's staring at me. We found some them. elephant footprints. Yeah. Those are elephant footprints. Follow them! This is a lizard that's just like laying in the middle of the road. You see the lizard? So we're seeing elephant footprints on the road here, and you can even smell the fresh elephant poo. poo. Yes. So we think that there's elephants around here. We're just trying to find them. I saw a big hippo just sitting out there. You see he's in the water now, looking right at us. So there's several pregnant ones. Pregnant zebras. All right, so we're still here in the national park, but there's a spot here for lunch, a little cafe area. And we're trying to stick together so no one gets picked off by a lion or a hippo. At this point, we've been looking for a lion for a couple hours. And so if a lion comes, I'll just invite him to yeah. join us. All right, so the animals that we're still hoping to see, we have tomorrow morning too, and later today, is a lion, giraffe, an elephant. My phone keeps thinking I'm in Tanzania. And how do they say it here? They say it a little different. Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah, so our phone alerts and it's like, welcome to Tanzania. And we're like, no, that's not right. We're close though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just on the other side of the water. Well, the kids found something to do. This is so pretty. This is the National Park map. We were down there. Where's and this is where the game launch was. That's where the boat launch was. Mm -hmm. And then we came up here. Until we got here. Wow. We right so we're here. much more north. And then do you see the green arrow up there? That's where we're heading. Yep. Up there. So we're That's gonna, the bush camp. Oh, we're not too far. We're gonna wow. go up. We had a great lunch. We used some awesome restrooms. And now we're back on the drive. And our motto, is lions, elephants, and giraffes, oh my. We're crossing all of our fingers. We still have tomorrow. The day is still young, but we're really hoping to see. Warthogs! Under that tree. Under that tree. Oh, it's right a warthog. There. I can see it, I can oh, yeah. see it. Okay. We have unlocked a new animal in our inventory. <laughs> a warthog. What's his name in Lion King? Pumbaa. Pumbaa. 
He came out to say hi. He did come out to say hi. The color of the green of these mountains up here, I don't know if the camera can capture it, but it's so beautiful. One of the most interesting things I've learned is that the word safari means tour in Swahili. So an African safari, that's an African tour. Makes some sense. Oh my goodness. We it's found so the giraffes. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Look at them. It was crazy to find the warthog coming up too. <laughs> yeah. Like three of these animals all out here. The guides can share information with each other on where the animals are. We're telling them we just saw the giraffes. Just giraffes. around the corner. Hopefully he saw some elephants. More it giraffes. so cool. Look, you can see them way far out. It is kind of hard with the rain. It is. There we go. Okay. So the impalas hold very still when it rains. All those impalas are facing away from the rain, so it hits like their neck and their back. And then all they have to do is just shake and then they're good. Look, they're just right here in the road still. Lions live in this type of area. Okay, you studied them. Yeah. Okay, well we'll be looking for the lions. There's some tape buffaloes out there. There's Not a lot of them. Some, there's a ton. There's so many of them. So just ahead there were warthogs having a little conflict. A little skirmish. Oh, they're here. I know, me too. It makes them look a little bit like... They have an attitude. Yeah. So there's more than one male with those water bugs. This really does start to feel like a game of Where's Waldo or I Spy. Like you're looking and there's all these different items that you think might be an animal, but then it's not. But then when you do finally find one, it's very gratifying. So here in Rwanda, this safari has mostly been through a lot of trees and brush, but they do have this huge plain here, which is what we typically think of when we think of a safari. Whoa! Whoa. Is that what? What is that? Poop and pee. Elephant crap. No, it's elephant. Elephants were here. Whoa! That's how giant elephant feet are? Yeah. We're gonna see if we can get closer. So we finally found some elephants. There's a ton. Well, that was amazing. We got to see these elephants up close and our driver explained some of like the matriarchal system of elephants and the family. And then he also explained that he knows the different elephants. He knew that this elephant is known for, you know, coming a little closer, maybe trumpeting, but does not get aggressive. He said there's other elephants that we would have left much sooner for. And so glad to have an experienced guide with us. That was crazy. I love seeing them. And then... They just knock the trees over as they walk by. Because they're big. So we're coming up right now on some rhinos, right after seeing the elephants. So rhino right through those trees. Oh, it was 
was my favorite because there was a moment when it was like coming up to us and I was like, is it gonna tip us over? Because no, I knew we were could. gonna stay safe. I know, I knew it would be safe and that's why it was so fun because they're huge and it was like a meter or two away from us. It was epic. I felt a lot more intimidated by the elephant than the hippos. My favorite moment was when the elephants trumpeted. I loved it. I I didn't realize how big they actually were. Like I've seen them in zoos, but I feel like seeing them in their natural habitat is so different. And right next to your vehicle? Yeah, and he, when it came walking towards me, I was like, ah. Everyone kind of got down and sat down and it was like, uh, we might need to go. It was so awesome. So then Dee Dee turned on our engine and that gave her pause. Uh-huh. And she kind of... And then she walked behind us and then trumped it. So she's like... Brrr. Yeah, I don't think I caught that on the video, but the trumpet was awesome. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are just pulling up to the bush camp where we are going to be sleeping tonight. We're camping. We're staying in tents. There's no... In the middle of the park. around this place. We're just... Here. They've never had any incident of people being harmed here. I've had lions and leopards. Yeah, but animals will come around, so it's it's intense. You're gonna have to put your book down. We have to go settle in. Janae, you're gonna want your sweatshirt. I'm starting the list of animals I hope to make it all the way through the park without seeing. Yeah, we've heard there's a lot, there's of, snakes, a lot of snakes, pythons. Oh, pythons. I don't want to see one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just make it out without seeing one. Yeah, pineapple juice. We are very happy to host your party. Um, my name is Shadow. All right, we're gonna go check out the tents that we'll be staying in. So apparently the bathrooms have a view. <laughs> yes, they say don't walk on the other side of the tents. You might run into someone going to the bathroom. So it's an outdoor shower and toilet with no door or curtain. So you just gotta make sure no one's walking by when you're going. All right, so we decided to do boys in one tent, girls in the other. Yeah, and animals can come in here. There's nothing stopping them. So any animal can come here. Isaac thinks he might have found a leopard or a lion looking down on the plane. I think I found a lion, but it's probably a tree. That's how it goes. Well, you look all official over here with your hot chocolate and... What are you doing? Um, you know mom's favorite bird? Yes, the... The lilac breasted roller. Anyway, yes. I'm drawing it. So oh, fun. It's that one and I'm doing this one. Well, it's not a bad view for doing some art. It, nope. And then I'm gonna practice drawing um, lines and zebras because I'm doing an art African art project. What did you find, Isaac? What was it? Um, I thought it was a lion, but it's an acacia tree that's dried out with thorns. Okay, you saw a tree. That was your second guess. Yes, I saw a tree. <laughs> what games are you two girls playing? I'm a princess. Oh, princess. Janae, what are you? The, qu the queen. So the bush camp has a book about the birds here in Rwanda. I'm so excited. It reminds me of the book we had at the cabin yes, of birds. Yes, I want to identify some of these ones. <laughs> when we're old, we're gonna just travel the world and I'm gonna be a bird watcher. watch birds. And I'm so excited to look up some of these birds that we've been seeing. Wait, I just realized that's what we're doing right now. Jeremy, we're already doing that. It's amazing. But you're not We don't old. need to wait till we're old. Thank you, sweet child. So tonight we're staying in this tent and this tent and the bathroom shower area is right here. How was it using the toilet? Just open up to the woods. It was interesting when I went. Yeah, but at least no one was around. So the whole tent is mosquito proofed. We're gonna have the girls staying in here tonight. And some girls. Yep, you guys playing war? Yeah. I'm Slap Jack. Oh, okay. Can I play? Kai Havertz. Yes. I do. I do. So they're cooking the dinner right here on the coals of the fire. We're hoping that the yummy smells of the food don't attract any wild beasts. <laughs> they said they don't. Yeah. We know that we're making enough noise to scare any wild animals. <laughs> so it's a buffet Daddy, over the coals. Yeah. This rice is <laughs> Looks like one is a chili and one is a chicken. Which ones of these are gluten free? So they are gluten free. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what is this? West African chicken and peanuts. So they have little like tortillas that come with this. Chapate. Chapati. Mm -hmm. Hot. Yeah. Only one. 
So they call this the bush dinner. Yeah. So here's my bush dinner. I've got rice, chicken, and a peanut sauce. This is chili con carne and some vegetables. So while we were sitting at the fireplace, you were looking for constellations in the stars. It's all different. Why is it all different? Because we're in the southern hemisphere. Does it just instantly change once you like go across the line? Or is it like slowly change more and more as you get further away? What do away? you think? Yeah, what do you think? Slowly changes more and more. Yeah. Look, it's this on the is spectrum. Bottom hemisphere lights. This is where we are. And there's nothing. It's just a demonstration. <laughs> Wait, what? What's that? But we normally live for dessert. We're having caramelized banana pancakes, and it smells phenomenal. It is so good. We're brushing our teeth as we get ready for bed. Once we turn all the lights off, these stars are insane out here. Looking up at the stars, and Elise just said that when she was going to the bathroom, she was stargazing. It's one of the huge pros of having a bathroom outside. Yeah, we closed up all the windows so it won't be too cold on us, because it actually does get pretty cold out here. We also want to prevent from any mosquitoes getting in here, which they do a thorough spray. During dinner, they came in and made sure there was no mosquitoes in here. We don't want to get malaria, and we're going to be waking up super early. It's time to go on a safari. We slept so well. We slept really well. They're all still sleeping really well. Is she alive? Yeah, she is. Oh, there's a <laughs> Do you want to go hunting for lions again? See if we can track one now. Oh, she's back in bed. So we're hearing from some of the people who work here and Dee Dee that they heard lions roar, they heard hyenas. I think we just slept. We just slept. I woke up around midnight and heard some sort of a sound, but it definitely wasn't a lion. That might have been me. I had the most adrenaline-filled experience of my life on the safari so far. Around 12.30 to 1, I had to go to the bathroom. And it's kind of creepy to go to the bathroom out here. Like, I get up and it's completely dark. The stars are beautiful, but the bathroom is just open to the woods. And I know that there can be lions and lepers, leopards and hyenas. So I'm like just sitting there scared to death going to the bathroom. And then as I'm running back to my tent, I slip and fall on the <laughs> stair. I'm just like scurrying up, but it took me a while to calm down to fall back asleep. It was even more exciting than the hippos attacking us, was trying to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night in an open bush camp. Well, the fog was clearing up and then it came back in. So we're just gonna eat breakfast before we go out this morning on our drive. We're starting with some fruit. And again, we're just hoping that the fog clears up. It's gotten worse. One of the options this morning was French toast, which we haven't had in a really, really long time. We're all very excited. So I ordered some ginger herbal tea this morning and it is very strongly infused with flavor. Kayla wanted to try it. It's like 100% ginger. It smells delightful. It's the best one to create your, to put cream your food. <laughs> Whoa! It's kind of spicy, huh? <clears throat> yeah, if you have a cold, this would be amazing. <laughs> Everyone had to try the ginger tea. Get a big sip. Oh! <laughs> Maybe they added some alcohol in it and we didn't realize. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm going to have to get a new tea because everybody drank mine. Okay, Nay, she's coming up. Do you like it? <laughs> the slow, yeah. pensive look Maybe of I need to use somber. <laughs> it's not hot, like, uh, yeah, temperature-wise. <laughs> Okay, you guys, you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. All right, it's our final safari time. Today's our last day on the safari, and we have seen so many incredible things. We haven't seen the lion, which is Janae's biggest wish, and so we're all crossing our fingers for a lion today. It's crazy, though. We're looking so intently. Every rock, every termite mound looks like a lion. Are you feeling a little nervous that we might not see one? Okay, keep looking. So these little termite mounds continue to look like majestic lions. From far away. From far away. It's so annoying. All right, those are the rhinos that we think we saw the other day crossing the road. They're now down in the field. 
and that little bird that rides on the back of the rhino. It's like they're taking an opposite back. So these are called topies. They're very fast. Fastest antelope in this park. They're much bigger than the other antelope that we've seen. So there's huge herds of animals out together here in the there's plains. There's buffaloes over there, zebras over here, and polos over here. So it's, it's crazy. And we got the rhinos out here. Yeah. Whoa. There is a bone. There's the oh, bone. It's like a rib cage. This is where lions would have eaten oh, their prey. That's, oh. Janae, that's where a lion ate a buffalo. We're at a little bit of a muddy, bumpy part of the road. This is so awesome. Roller coaster time. So we'll be going along, and then Dee Dee will see something in the distance, and it gets really quiet. He'll turn off the vehicle, look through the binoculars, and we're all like, what did he see? <laughs> I you thought know? there was like something in the distance that looked kind of like a lion, but I think it was just a termite pile. Termite mound. Was anyway, it's super exciting mound? when that happens. I'm excited. You're like more excited today than even yesterday, it seems like. Why do you think you're so excited? Yeah, there's so many more animals on the plane. Yeah. Dee Dee said that this male bull elephant was the one that attacked the vehicle one time. The herd of buffalo out there, Cape Buffalo. And this bird is eating his breakfast. Yeah, another thing that we didn't expect on the safari is there's these little flies, not mosquitoes, but they bite. They are biting through our clothes. They're intense. They're I guess they're so called annoying. tsetse flies, but. I'm calling them Satan flies. Yeah, they're evil. When I learned more about what a safari was, of spending hours in a vehicle looking, I was nervous about boredom. Boredom for me, boredom for the kids. We brought like audiobooks and music we could listen to, but it's been riveting. I am enjoying it. It's entertaining to try to find the animals. Anything. Yeah, yeah, we haven't. We've just been looking. We've just been looking. So looking for prints on the yeah, there's hyena footprints. These are hippos. Hippos. And then there's lion footprints right there. Us all the different right prints. Yeah, there's lion, hippo, and hyena footprints all right there. Wow, wait, I want to see. This one is very much bigger now. You can see the same. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool. We're following lion tracks in Africa. It's hard because there's so many places here for them to hide. They could be up in this tree. The grass is really tall. So Didi was explaining that the darker coloration on the giraffe means that this one's a male and that they get that darker color as they get older. So this is probably an older male. leave the push camp and Elise is weaving. Super fun. It's not perfect. I mean I just kind of... Right, right, right. You're just fiddling around with it. Mm -hmm. We've been inspired by the weaving and the basket mm -hmm. weaving we've seen. We're gonna have to learn some of that while we're here. All right, we're saying goodbye to the bush camp. Yes! Goodbye. That was really amazing. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, we're leaving the bush camp and heading back home. The hospitality and food there is amazing. This is not sponsored at all, by the way. We just loved our experience. I think school just got out. Well, we're back home after the safari. It. We're a little tired. Yeah.
Okay, before I get in the shower and get all cleaned up, there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys about the safari before I forget. All right, most importantly, this was such an amazing experience. There's a reason why I've heard about African safaris my entire life. There's a reason it's like a, you know, once in a lifetime iconic experience. It was absolutely magical and amazing. While we don't film these moments, there were some hard moments. That's part of any, you know, big adventure you go on. There's the moments when kids aren't getting along, you know, they both want the pair of binoculars, they wanna sit in the same seat, somebody's tired, the snack that somebody wanted to eat is gone, you know, things like that. Uh, needing to use the restroom at extremely inconvenient moments. You know, we experienced all those different things and there were there was the frustration, but that's just that's just part of life and the good was definitely far greater than the challenges. When we left on this world trip, we knew that an African safari was a must do for our family. It was something we absolutely wanted to do. And as we got closer and were researching it more, we were uh, wowed by the price on this. We knew it was gonna be an investment, but it was really overwhelming. So we started researching around different countries and different companies and different kind of setups of safaris. And that is part of what brought us to Rwanda. It was much more affordable for our family to do a three day, two night safari here than in other places. And as we talked to different companies, we were able to find a place that really worked for us. And we're just so grateful we were able to come. On the last day of the safari, Janae looked over at me and said, I don't think I'll ever think the same way about the animals at the zoo again, because I'll just look at them and wish they were free. And I just felt that in my heart, kind of the whole time on the safari. I've obviously seen a lot of these animals before in zoos, and I'm so grateful that zoos exist and can teach so many people about these animals. And I mean, that's the only way in my life I've ever been able to see an elephant or a lion or a giraffe, and yet to see them here in their natural habitat was such a, a different experience. And my heart just feels, Oh, so torn. I felt that heaviness that Janae was talking about. And so I'm just really grateful for how zoos and um, conservation programs have changed over the years, trying to be so much more aware of animals and their needs. And um, anyway, Janae's sometimes a really deep thinker. She says deep stuff. And I agree, I don't think I'll ever look at the animals the same again. Time to jump in the shower and get cleaned up. Good night, Jay House out. <laughs> Do you see it? I am like really scared of her. Uh, right by us. <laughs>